Well, oh, you gorgeous mother truckers, you, and welcome back to the Inn of Corrections. So, many of you know, and quite a few can guess from my accent, that I live not far from Birmingham, which is now um, one of the, in fact, the most violent city for stabbings anywhere in the country. We even beat London now, which is one of the reasons why I never go anywhere near the Birmingham city centre. And I never know go near any of those no-go areas. You know the ones, Jess? I'm still waiting for you to take me up on my offer where I'll take you for a walk round, just you and me, and we'll go to all those areas you swear are not no-go areas, and we'll just see, yeah? Alum Rock, Spark Hill, Spark Brook, Small Heath, yeah? And just the town centre itself, where Islamic preachers are allowed to scream and shout whatever they like. It's a wonderful place, Birmingham. It's such a fantastic place to live. So, any case, surprise, surprise, Birmingham Islamist Shaquille Asif is now vowing to find us one by one. This is the same extremist who claims that from the rivers to the sea, Palestine will free, does not imply the annihilation of Israel, having people been punished for less threatening words and tones. Let's have a look at the show more recently. <laughs> so, there you go. So, shall we listen to the dulcet tones of this wonderful Brummie? Uh, oh, it's so embarrassing to have these people. In any case, let's listen to what he has to say. A message to all the supporters of the barbaric Israeli establishment, remember this. We as British Muslims and British citizens will never remain silent to your complicity to genocide that is happening on the people of Palestine. We will call you out. We will find you one by one and make sure that you are held to account. We will not remain silent. We will not remain complicit. Moreover, we will continue to strive and struggle for the plight of our people. And we whoa, whoa, whoa. So you're British Muslims, but you're going to strive for the plight of your people. Make your mind up where you live. Well, actually, see, because you're not British Muslims, are you? You actually just admitted right there and then that they're your people. If it bothers you that much, plain, jump over, sort it out. But that's a threat. Going to heat seek us out one by one, eh? We will remain consistent and persistent. And threatening. Now, if I said that about their race or their religion um, guess where I'll end up but it's okay thanks to Keir Starmer we will protect the Muslim community speech they're emboldened now they can say what they want and then they can get away with it because they're not going to touch them because you promised you're going to protect them you literally with that statement have picked up the Anglo-Saxon genuine people of this country and screw them under a bus because you'll protect them. Even though, you know, you've sat down with the Palestinian things. Oh, it's terrible. It's nothing to do with us. You're only doing it because you're scared. You're a coward. Any case, enough of that. Two more videos popping up there. One will be the one I last uploaded and one will be one that the gods of YouTube, the algorithm, the mighty, mighty algorithm has decided that you personally need to see. I don't pick these videos. It picks it. So why deny the algorithm? Honestly, why? I don't know. In any case, down there, just by the fireplace, is my logo. You click on that, just subscribe to my channel. It's free. Why not? 78% of you don't subscribe to the channel who watch my videos, and why not? If you like what I'm saying, you like what I'm doing, just hit that there. And if you're really, really keen, you can ding the bell, and that'll give you a notification. Well, until YouTube, turn it off. And probably unsubscribe you. In any case, enough of that. I'm done. Oh, before I'm done, don't forget to like, and there's a comment section down below. Feel free. Any case, now I'm done. So until the next one.